the rain. Uh, is this way, yeah, I, I love that This is this way. This is this way. If it's good. This is unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> I feel called out. <laughs> but yeah, this way, uh, they do have an online service. If you guys can check it out online, you can get it. So, how I style wigs. So, first, um, I use like, for sure, got to be spray. And then a comb, scissors, um, hair dryer, and a razor, like a facial razor. So whenever you use razors on me, uh, like when it's like little small hairs that gets in the way, I just like um, shave it down a little bit. It's pretty easier than a scissor. And then, um, so how I make my spikes? Like this. Oh, the detail, the detail. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
your first cosplay, you can just buy like shirts that kind of look like the character, kind of like this, and then just put the details on it later. Okay. More beginner friendly and then more budget friendly. Don't break the bank. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I actually like that. I feel like that's very like beginner friendly, especially. Yeah. Don't have to do anything from scratch because that's very scary to do. Yeah. Paper if you want to do that to make like a stencil. 
and the material that I like to use, I've really been liking using insulation foam. It's actually the foam that's in the walls. It's super cheap. You can buy it at any hardware store, and it's uh, it's really light. It's really rigid. Like you wanna feel? Yes. Where's the light? I haven't held it before. It's very light. Where's the tag that you have to get this with uh, the uh, what are those people who um oh the weapons check? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we take it off after the call. Yeah, I like to keep mine on. It's a little loud. Yeah. Side. Yeah. But so it's really light, and I would get that, and what you can do is you'll put your stencil on top, trace it, and then this stuff is super easy to cut. You can use an exacto knife, you can use a utility knife, and it goes right through. So once you have your shape, sandpaper or a Dremel will really just eat through it, so it's really easy to work with. But the big thing, you don't want to make your props and you know, not paint it, right? But before you paint this type of foam or any type of foam, you have to seal it. Because if you don't seal it, what happens, Hard? Uh -oh, it, it melts. It melts. <laughs> yes. Learn from experience, Hard. <laughs> So seal it with any sealer. I like using Mod Podge. You can buy it any any craft store. It's like uh, Elmer's glue but with some water. So you put that on, and then you can paint. You can use spray paint, or if you're more comfortable using brushes and acrylic paint, you can use that too. And that's pretty much how I made this. One thing I want to let you guys know: think about the prop when you when you need to transport it and store it at home, because. Oh, cool, well, I'm gonna make a big stick, but then <laughs> once you're done, is it's my car big enough to fit that? And two, if you can't make it to be taken apart, you have a corner of your living room that has sticks and swords and axes and everything. <laughs> so just, you know, for example, this actually comes apart in three pieces. Whoa! So Whoa. I just used, uh, Secret. PVC piping. So Home Depot, everything is your best friend. And you know, uh, tying everything together like this is just fabric that was sewn together. Cheap, like a discount fabric store. And uh, this is just more foam, and these are just little jewels. So everything that you learn from them, you can use on your props. And yeah, there we go. Oh, also, spray a sealant over the paint too. If you don't seal the paint on the outside, when you're walking around the con, the paint will come off. So, what are the rules for these things, though? Um, it's like... different for every con. Yeah. So, but if you can, try to just make it with uh, foam and plastic. That's always. Uh, that's always. Yeah, you always have to check things like that in uh, before you can get in. Right. So yeah, there's the process. Thank you, Dio. That was a lot of good information. Oh, I see some cosplayers. Hello, hello. But um. We can do, we're kind of short on time, we can do one, if anyone has a question. Like, you already asked two questions, yep. so. Yep. I, I call you first. How about, uh, I'll play with earrings, because there's a character that I want to play with. Earrings is like, uh, uh no. do you clip on, or do you actually have your ears pierced? Or... Yeah, you can totally do the clip on. Version. Um, just make sure it's not too heavy, so it will, yeah. it, it will you know, pop off, you know. It'll come off, it'll hurt your ears. <laughs> yeah. yeah, make sure it's light. I think another advice is like, before you go to the con, just make sure it doesn't hurt you, it doesn't come off. That's another important part. Yeah, always rehearse. I've used the magnetic ones too. Magnetic? Yeah. Magnetic. Yeah. Yeah. We can do one more question. Sorry, Nico, you were first. <laughs> I think Dio is more experienced than this. Uh, I really don't like, well, I know it's different for them. I don't like working with clay, but I know oh, Haru is yeah. really good with yeah, clay. Yeah, they're really good with clay. Uh, but I, my favorite part of the process is painting. So whether it's painting wood pieces or foam pieces, that's that's my favorite. It's Haru's enemy. Yeah. <laughs> Play, play is hard to work with if you're, uh, it's a delicate balance of how of how wet it needs to be to mold, but not too wet. So. Yeah. It's foam blades. Foam blades, foam blades easy. 
Okay, we look, we have to end the, the workshop, but we can do one more question. So you can go ahead. Thank you for waiting. What is the last question you would like to ask? Question is for you too. How do you guys do your like facial contour to do like male? Oh, contour? makeup. Yes. Makeup. Oh, that's something we haven't talked about. You can. Well, I need to
but they also create cosplayers and actors and sometimes dancing too. For example, Lolly, she never danced, but she did lots of dancing because of me. So once again, thank you so much everyone for coming. Hope you guys have learned some stuff and hopefully we can come back. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed it, you can come back. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.